When most people start lifting weights, they do so with tons of motivation, enthusiasm, and vigor, which is good. They, they have to be super motivated. It takes a lot to get someone from the sofa to the squat rack. But as good as this is, it often results in people doing far too much too soon. And this overzealous approach to training can often do more harm than good. You can't dive into training like you're starving in your own Rocky film without your body feeling like you've gone 12 rounds with Club Lang and subsequently struggling to recover from the pounding you've bestowed upon it. Many studies have observed the effects of different volumes in a single session. Volume being total work, so that's weight times reps times sets. Let's take a look at this in-house meta-analysis done by James Krieger that reviewed the data of nine separate studies looking at the impact of sets per muscle group per session on muscle building. The, the data is beautifully illustrated in this, in this graph and shows that up to six sets per muscle group, the gains continue to rise. But beyond, we get hit with a pretty hard plateau. Some will, some will benefit from eight sets per muscle group, but few will reap the benefits beyond this. So it's clear that more work doesn't always equal more gains. And if you look at the end of the scale, the extra work becomes detrimental. Now, there are variants in the data as everyone is different. Individual volume response will differ and some genetic monsters will continue to see benefits way beyond six to eight sets per muscle group. Others won't even reach six sets before they start seeing diminishing returns. When, when most people start their lifting journey, they, they start with a traditional bro split, which I'm not a fan of. It, it involves destroying a single muscle group during a session. This split will generally involve five or more exercises with three to four sets per exercise. So that's 15 to 20 sets per session. With this split, most people, bar a few extreme genetic monsters, will have a vast number of wasted sets. In fact, over half the session, Will be wasted. This is why many people run out of steam after they start their fitness journey. They, they put in 100% but don't get the results that reflect their effort. It's really demotivating. What they do get is, is a body that feels like it get, it's, it's being hit by a bus. To prevent diminishing returns or overtraining, you need to train smart and effectively manage your training volume instead of trying to squeeze all your chest volume into one session, spread out through the week with full body training. This type of training is it's the best way to prevent wasted sets each session. This is because you're, you're spreading individual muscle group volume through the week instead of trying to squeeze it all into one session. The, the 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 six to eight sets per muscle group per session is it, it's not something I'm I'm recommending everyone strive for. As the, the six to eight sets, it's it's the upper end where many people will will no longer see a return on investment. If you're if you're doing full body training and training three to four times per week, you'll only you'll only need to do three to five hard working sets per muscle group to land in the effective weekly hypertrophy range of 10 to 20 sets per muscle group a week. Again, I wanna emphasize that science gives us ranges and individuals respond differently. For you genetically enhanced superhumans, feel free to bump up the volume. But for us mere mortals, we need to train smart. Training more is not always better. It may well result in diminishing returns or even overtraining, where you're 
your body struggles to recover from the sessions, from the volume, do, ultimately doing more harm than good. Training is, it's not just about quantity, it's about quality. And the stress of training needs to be managed to get the most out of your training and your recovery. You want to stimulate the body to induce muscle protein synthesis, not annihilate it. You can't build the body you want if you keep smashing it to the ground. 